Well, Crossrail has been running work experience programmes for young people since it got Royal Assent in 2008. We need to recruit excellent engineers. Um, engineers who are not just good at engineering, but can interact with customers, can write um, well-written reports. So we're looking for a really well-rounded engineers who are best in their field. And to be honest, we're struggling. There's a lot of work to do. I mean, I've done one talk in a, in a girls' school and they had no idea whatsoever about engineering and they could go into engineering and all the options that were there. So I definitely think there's a lot of work to be done still. And one of the things that we've been keenly aware of is the fact that we want to do what's best in those work placements for the young people when they go back into schools. The only way that we can realistically do that is to have the teachers come into Crossrail and work with us to develop those work placements. And so we decided to be part of the Teacher Industrial Partnership. We know that teachers of science and maths and design technology don't know too much about the careers that are available in modern industry. So the aim of this scheme is to expose them to the various types of jobs that there are so they can pass on some of that authentic experience to their pupils. So the next step is to continue recruiting teachers, to continue finding employees who can get involved and to widen our scope for placements. We're continuously looking for, for more and more employers across the country and, and our job is to collect that information and to start locating that with the teachers of expressed interest. The IET and the IMECE between us have put in enough financial support and enough resource to ensure that with the help of the National Science Learning Centre we can provide 32 placements in the first year. I think it's something that all STEM teachers should do. It's so important, you know, unless you've come from industry and you've got a really good understanding of current developments and opportunities, then how else are you going to be in a position to explain to a child just thinking about their career. But 32 teachers a year is barely scraping the surface of what we need to do. In an ideal situation, we would be getting to the point where one teacher from every secondary school in the UK were participating in this scheme, uh, certainly every few years, if not every year. So now when I'm teaching, um, I can think about real world connections. I'm not just looking at a textbook, I, I can see I actually, you know, um, Crossrail have to deal with these problems when they're making tunnels under the ground and I could show real world examples uh, to the kids. Well I think many employers might put this in the too hard to do box but actually it was very straightforward. We have partnerships with a number of schools and so we reached out to those schools, told them that we were interested in this partnership and invited them to join us. And it was very easy to get teachers along, uh, teachers who wanted to know more about what industry was doing to support young people once they came into the workplace. So it was incredibly easy. It's been invaluable. I've learned an awful lot from doing this project and it's given me lots of ideas to take back to school and to start thinking about.